Hello, good friends. My name is William Nyende. <laughs> you know, I, I have found something in music. In fact, I found uh, a, a theory in music long time ago. When I was still uh, playing in a small church in a village in Uganda, a village called Mpereri. The church was Mpereri Church of Uganda. Now, what you hear playing in the background is Amazing Grace, arrangement by my good friend Mark Hayes. I actually <laughs> was so inspired when I, I met him in his music and I was inspired actually to go and visit him. We had a long talk. So when I play his pieces, I have a very good understanding of his music journey, how it started, and how he ended up becoming an arranger and a composer. He's a wonderful man. Um, I like his chords. He has that classical touch, uh, uh, which mixed with jazz and improvisation. Oh man, uh, uh, his his chords are. Uh, a juicy, they are juicy. Oh man, it's like, have you, have you ever seen a, a piece of meat sizzling on the fire? That's that, that's the kind of feeling I get when I'm playing his music. <laughs> it brings the best out of me. But anyway, uh, my what is my story? Uh, my name is William Yende. What is my story uh, about Amazing Grace? How sweet the sound that that saved a rage like me. So when I was growing up, I, uh, I grew up in church. Um, and that's how I learned my music when I was a young boy. And that church, Peter Church of Uganda, a small church in the village, could only pay me, uh, I think about uh, 30 cents US dollars. That was uh, about uh, 1,000 Uganda shillings per month. 30 cents US dollars per month and uh, and uh, I started off on the piano and uh, my teacher thought because he was going for uh, for further studies a master's in Germany he put me on a, on a fast track program to learn how to play the organ and my first team on the organ was uh, St. Stephen's uh, St. St. Stephen's um, tune, uh, I believe it is, um, How Sweet the Name of Jesus Sound. Da, 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 da. So anyway, one time I went to practice for a uh, Sunday service, I think it was a Saturday, and uh, I was practicing the organ, the organ with uh, two manuals uh, for the fingers and one full pedal board for the two legs. So. I was using both my my hands and all my ten fingers and uh, should I say my toes? <laughs> all my toes. So, so that, that makes it twenty components playing the instrument. <laughs> toes and fingers. Anyway, so that's I'm trying to exaggerate so you understand uh, the, the the kind of the amount of calories I was burning in my head in my brain. And uh, this was on an empty stomach. And so I felt so hungry. Suddenly, I, I burst. I busted. Is that the right tense? I don't know. Just teardrops came down my, on my face. And I made this loud cry. A cry of hunger. Because I was so frustrated. Hunger was in my way of developing my talent on the organ. And I, I, I couldn't even solve <laughs> the hunger problem. I was starving. Right there in the church, by myself, <laughs> I just heard a voice telling me. Do you, I just, I, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. There was this voice, I don't know where it was hiding in the church. <laughs> it asked me, do you think hunger can stop you, can stop you from growing your talent? I, Actually, he started off by saying there was there was a, I remember there was a child 
I knew very well. They had they were celebrating his birth, her birthday, and they had given her these huge gifts. By the age of 17, nobody had ever celebrated, celebrated my birthday. So that voice came and, and, and spoke to me. Did you see those gifts? Yes, I did. Did those gifts stop you from growing? I said, no. Because, I mean, did you, in other words, you're not getting those gifts. That, did, did that stop you from growing? I said, no. Now you want to tell me hunger, that voice. You want to tell me, because now I'm, I'm, I'm having this internal conversation. You want to tell me hunger is going to stop you from developing your talent? I said, hmm. And then that voice told me, the only thing which can stop me from growing is not food. It's not even a check. You know, I go to some of these uh, <laughs> gigs. I'll call them gigs. We call them gigs as musicians. Somebody cuts the check and they think they've got a big check. <laughs> not even a, a big check can stop me from growing my talent. <laughs> from that day I learned, I don't work for a big check. I work for a big God because it's only a big God who can save a big talent like me. So, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> so, so, so to those who, who think that they are cutting the check, well, you thank you for cutting a big check. Thank you for cutting a small check. I'm here to remind you, when I come to work, no, I, I don't work for a big check. I don't work for a small check. I work for a big God because it's the big God who gives me oxygen. In, in any case, the reason I'm, I come for money so I can pay my bills, not to, not to get paid. <laughs> I don't come to work to get paid. No, I come to work to pay my bills <laughs> because I found something in amazing grace that a big check cannot save a rich like me it's the amazing grace which saved me when I was hungry and then I later on in my life I joined uh, Makerere University with a big talent because I had developed the talent and I was playing better than my professors. You know what they did? They expelled me out of envy. <laughs> so for me, I have found a friend in music. A great companion. And now I'm playing this amazing grace arrangement by Mark Hayes. It brings, it takes me back all those years and it brings back that story and now i'm able to connect the dots and get a meaningful use a meaningful interpretation of amazing grace god bless